Hey guys, I have an interesting video for you today. Um, I have my Gila monster here, all very excited. And I'm gonna give them a different food item. So I have some fish that I have for my turtle and for the water cobras. And I'm gonna try giving them to the Gila monsters. Now fish is not a very common item that these guys encounter for as food but they actually like eating them and yes I am using my hands to feed venomous animals so this is not something you should try it's just that I am very confident with these guys and I know how they are, so they're usually not a problem. As you can see, the fish is taken with gusto. Now, it is not something that I would give them as a staple diet, since This is not something that they will eat in their natural environment. But I think that varied diet is a key for success in all animals and Gila monsters I don't think they are any different than other animals so okay don't know biting each other guys I think the fish smell lingers so they are interested in eating more No, no. There you go. And then I have a piece for you too. There you go. So it turns out that these guys actually like fish. Or they like eating. Anyway. But I just wanted to film this as a small update and an interesting update, something that you don't see very often. I don't think I, you guys have anyone on film feeding Gila Monsters fish, so I think it was a nice footage and I think they had fun. Now these guys are funny, look at them. They smell the fish on each other's mouths so they try biting each other. I think time is coming uh, to separate these guys into individual quarters because they are getting large enough. I will probably separate the suspected male from the females and have two females inhabiting this cage and the male inhabit another cage that I have. And the cage looks a bit dirty guys and especially the water bowl as you can see is quite filthy but okay you guys separate now but uh, believe me I changed the water this morning these guys when they start playing they just dig constantly and move all the earth in their cage into their water bowls etc so I try to keep them as clean as I can and this means daily water change and spot cleaning and all that but it still gets a bit dirty after a while. Alright, just to give you a little bit of information for the people who don't know where, what Gila monsters are. Gila monsters are one of the two real venomous lizards. 
real in the sense that they have fully developed venom glands. Oh, one guy is interested in listing me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, they like to be scratched actually. Alright, you guys are having so much fun. Well, anyway, these are one of the uh, two only truly venomous lizards. The other being the close cousin Mexican bearded lizard. Uh, they both come from Americas. Bearded lizard being in Mexico and Gila monster being in uh, southwestern US. And again, normally they get quite docile after a while, but the venom is strong, so you shouldn't mess with them. And this guy really wants to visit today. No way. No way. I will not let him. But anyway, um, I think this was fun. You guys got to see me do some free handling, which I don't do usually. And uh, which I advise everyone to not to do, anyway being a hypocrite myself uh, but I know these animals and they've been with me for over a year I have raised them from tiny hatchlings and they also know me and they wouldn't be as comfortable as they are with me with someone else but they got to eat some fish and they got to get some nice fish oils for their shedding and everything is fine I will just <laughs> change this filthy water dish once more and be done with it. But again, just to show you their setup, it's quite simple. You have the heat lamp, which is also a UV lamp, even though they don't need it. A fake cactus, a couple hiding places, and a humid hide, and also other dish. The substrate is basically um, sand with a lot of clay in it, and they like digging around and playing with it a lot. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. I will see you soon. Bye.